let's do this like this. I apologize. Don't get mad at me, you guys. Let's do this like this. I didn't want to go live like this, but I have to finish it. All right, I have to finish. And I can help you. I can walk you through as much as I can possibly without doing the screen share. Okay, so I apologize. But that's the first time I ever tried to use the screen share, but I don't know how to use it. All right. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I know concerning getting money from Walmart. And hopefully by the next couple of weeks, you guys will have some money for your event. Okay. So um, sorry for that. Please don't get upset with me. I don't know how to use the screen share on Facebook. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I know. All right. And hopefully it'll be a blessing to you. All right. So give me a couple of seconds and we'll be ready. All right. And thank you guys for those of you who are coming back. Usually I would have just done a class about this, but I just felt like, you know what? Let me just give you guys the information I have because this is a freebie. All right. So. All right. So what we have here is a check. Okay. Is a check from Walmart. All right. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see that. It's a check. All right. I got this check. I need to cash it, but I got it uh, on the first of the first of January. The first. It says one three nineteen. All right. So I want to let you guys know exactly how I got the check. I got two checks actually, and I but I applied for 25, but I applied at the end of the year. So last year I applied in December, like the last two weeks of December. I found out about this. A woman of God contacted me. She said, Dr. Alexis, I really think you need to apply for this money because you do so many events. So they, they're going to fund you. I'm telling you because they funded my friend. They gave my friend $1,500. So I said, all right, well, let me just apply and see if I can get the money. And I randomly applied. So what I did, I showed you guys that there are five um, there are five ways to apply that you have to be a five different types of organizations. If you can take down some notes because I can't do the screen share, that would be great. And so I don't have to answer many questions in my inbox. OK, so. Um, OK, so um, the community grant program, you can go to Walmart giving dot Walmart dot com giving dot walmart.com the cycle began february the 15th 2019 okay and the application deadline to apply is december 31st you can apply for 25 grants 25 please share this you guys thank you so much you can apply for 25 grants of up to five thousand dollars a piece okay so when we look at when we look at this I want to share with you guys five five thousand times twenty five. That's one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. Now I'm not saying you're going to be able to get acquire that amount of money that for all the school um, WalMarts, but you're able to apply for twenty five at five thousand a piece. All right. So go to that website. And you have to be either a nonprofit, which is a 501c3, and it says here of the Internal Revenue Code listed in the IRS master file. <laughs> that one you have to be listed in the master file. Or you can be a recognized government entity, state, county, or city agency, including law enforcement or fire departments that are requesting funds exclusively for per per public purposes or you can be a K-12 public or private school, charter school, community, junior college, state or private college or university. Or you can be a church or other faith-based organization with a proposed project that benefits the community as law at large, such as food pantries, soup kitchens, clothing closets, et cetera. The reason why I just said the last one was because a lot of people don't have their organization in order. All what we see on their documentation is that you only have to be on the internal master file if you are a 501, okay? That's what I am. 
But if you are a church, which they most of the time churches are 501, but here they they mention that you can be um, you can be um, sorry you, that you can be an organization, faith based organization or church that is doing a project that benefits the community at large. Okay, so as soon as you do that, I want you to click apply. You're going to click number two community grant program. You're going to click submit. Then you're going to, they're going to ask you, does your organization or proposed program directly benefit the communities that you're willing to serve? You're going to say yes. Then it's going to ask what kind of organization are you? So I'm number one because I, I can pick an option one because that is what I am. I am a 501, okay? Nonprofit. So, so it's going to ask you, are you applying for funding for any of the organizations listed below? If so, please select the organization. You're going to say, no, I'm not the Children Miracle Network. I'm not the United Way. I'm not the American Cancer Society. I'm not the American Diabetes Association. I'm not the American Heart Association. I'm none of the above, okay? Which is good because they already give these people money. That's how come they're asking you. So some of these questions are to kind of trip you up. And so you don't want to say I'm applying money for these great organizations that already got money no because you're trying to get some money to do your event now mind you okay i'll talk about that in a minute hold on now it's going to ask you do you plan to request less than 250 from an, an individual organization my sister uh, a sister that i hang out with she's like okay they're being cute they know you don't you try to be cute and say yeah i'm only going to request 100 dollars when you're trying to raise money People are looking at you like a fool if you say, I want $100. You don't want $100. You want to go for the gusto. You want to try to apply for more. So you're going to say, you're going to say, um, no, I do not plan to request less than $250, all right? So then you're going to go for it. It's going to say, boom, you're eligible, okay? You're eligible. So you're going to click community, community grant programs. You're going to do whatever you got to do. It's going to ask you to, to log on. Um, and it says that if you are not a 501 C three or a 501 C 19, you're going to have to apply manually, um, to verify prior to, you know, concerning your grant. So that may be different the way that you apply, but you still can gain access to this. Once again, if you're not in the master file, okay, then you can still apply. If you don't know, you just go back and you can watch the replay, all right? Thank you guys to those of you coming on. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis. We're talking about how to get money late at night. I'm a thinker. Are you a thinker? I'd be up late trying to figure out how to make things happen. And I say, God, I know there's money out here. We just don't know how to get it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get it. And before I was trying to share the screen, but the screen share was whack on Facebook. So sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna log in because I've already did all the stuff that I needed to do. And I'm going to go to apply. I'm going to type in my zip code, okay? Type in my zip code. And it's going to say, it's going to tell me different places in my, um, different places. It's going to tell me uh, just different, um, it, it shows me about 20 different Walmarts that are closer, close to me. Not only Walmart, it also shows me Sam's, okay? So when you're applying, you can apply also to Sam's. So I basically picked already 20, but I'm gonna pick one in Dallas. So I'm gonna click search concerning Dallas, and it's gonna, it's gonna give me one in Dallas, Texas, okay? I don't live in Dallas, Texas, but I, I'm doing an event there. All right, so it's gonna give me one. So it's gonna say, I see a Sam's Club. I'm gonna press start, okay, you guys? I'm sorry I don't have the visual. It's gonna ask me to make sure my contact information is good. I'm gonna click yes. All right, I'm gonna click yes. Save and proceed. Um, it says, in an effort to streamline the application and review process, we have made program updates, which include shortening the application. So this is what it's gonna ask you. What is the program? It asks you four questions, you guys. Listen up, take some notes. What is the program for which the organization is requesting funding? So I'm gonna write all things her, okay? All things her, women,
I'm going to say low income women in business. Okay. So the reason why I just said that low income to me, if we're not in, if we're not making uh, half a million dollars or a million dollars, we actually are, you know, from a low income place. Okay. So this is going to say enter the dollar amount you're requesting. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, because I, now, before I put all 5,000, but I'm not going to do that this time because I think they're probably looking like, girl, we're not giving you 5,000 for that. You just tried to go for the gusto. A lot of times organizations want to try to match you for what you already have. So I'm going to say $3,000, okay? It says, is this funding request for an organization located outside of the U.S. or will funds be distributed outside of the U.S.? I'm going to say no. This is not going to be outside of America, okay? It then is going to say, please choose the option that best describes the primary focus of the program that you are requesting funding. So I'm going to say, it's going to say hunger relief and healthy eating, health and human services, quality of life, education, community and economic development, diversity and inclusion, public safety and environmental sustainability. So I'm going to put education, okay? And... It says providing after school enrichment, tutoring, or vocational training for low income individuals and families in the United States of Puerto Rico. You also can put, I did programs where I was doing talking about trafficking, okay, or whatever. So I can pick any of those seven, um, those seven, um, the seven themes that were on here. I can pick any one. So I'm gonna press save and proceed. It's gonna ask what my name is. My name is already gonna come up because I've done this several times. So I'm going to put my name, Alexis Mastin. Please give your official title. I'm the executive director. Executive director. And I'm going to press agree. I'm going to save and proceed. Then I'm going to just press submit. It said, once you submit, you're unable to make any further changes. Boom. Done. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to contact me to send me my money. If you don't want to wait, you can call. If you're if it's a local Walmart, you can go up there and say, hey, because the manager is the one who approves it. Listen, I applied for some money for some backpacks, whatever, and I'm trying to get make sure my kids have some backpacks or whatever. So the good thing about this is they didn't ask me to write down what I'm doing with the money. Even though you need to do something, you need to do right, okay? But they didn't ask me to do all that. So I can allocate this in any way that I want to. I don't have to, I, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't have to write like other grants. You gotta write, yeah, I spent $2.25 on this. No, what all you're doing is they're sending you a check, just like they sent me right here. They send you a check, you cash it into your bank account, into my nonprofit for me, you may be different. And then you utilize it for the event that you're going to do. So this this money and the other money they sent me, I'm going to use it for my event, All Things Her. So I wanted to let you guys know that it's really, really easy. When I say really, really easy, there is no reason why you shouldn't have the money that you think you can gain access to or the money that you think is unattainable for you to gain access to because you don't have the know-how. Even if you don't have the know-how, this is the easiest grant I've ever applied for. Now, I've gotten grant money prior to this. This is not the only thing that I know how to do. I mean, um, really with the Lord, he taught me how to go get, you know, food. Food is the easiest. I mean, that's just the most easiest. In-kind donations are so simple to get because all you have to do is send an email. I send emails to all types of restaurants. My favorite are, are local restaurants. But you can send emails and just say, hey, I'm having an event. Um, would your organization like to, um, you know, be a part or, you know, give food for my event? Most times they'll give it to you. I mean, they're, they're trying to write it off anyway. Okay. But Walmart was such a surprise to me. So shout out to Walmart because I needed this money, even if $250 is not a lot to some people, but for me that handles maybe somebody's food or it handles, you know, a car, a vehicle that we're renting. And so I'm thankful for this 250 and the thing is, is that I believe that they only gave me 250 because they gave my other, another sister 1500 
of what she requested. She requested, I think, 2,500. So I try to request higher so they can give me a little bit lower, but I don't request all the way to the, you know, the top level. And to, sometimes I did like, but, um, anyway, um, you can, you can do that. Or I can talk later about really requesting supplies from like Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever it is that you want to, um, get supplies for, for, from your event. But money is very important because you can't do an event without money. And a lot of times we do things just by faith and we don't have the money to meet the faith. Right. Cause you're like, God, can you come through? Right. And so next thing you know, things like this pop up. And so I know Walmart is not the only one, but Walmart, it's so simple. Um, right there. Hey, Elisa. Okay, there is no guarantee that they will select your organization, but I'm thankful that twice they selected my organization and that if you apply for up to 25, you know, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good, um, you know, um, ratio of like, wow, maybe they'll pick me, right? Um, as well as if you, you, can, you can contact the, um, the Walmart and let them know, hey, did I, um, you know, I just want to tell you guys about my organ with my event, whatever you can contact the manager if you like. So I don't want you to think that you won't get picked selected. Most people who I know got selected who applied. Um, but since we are early in the game, um, this is a good time for you to apply and see what happens. So basically what we're talking about, you guys is getting money for Walmart for your event. And I want you to make sure that whatever you get, you do want to be sure not to, um, squander the money and just do some crazy with it. But one thing you can do since they're not asking for you to allocate where you're putting the funds, um, or, you know, in paper, you want to pay yourself too. And I think that that's, um, a good thing about, you know, when you get this type of, um, income, like for instance, if you're doing, um, a back to school event or an after school event, you can, allocate part of that money for your payment. Um, it may not be a lot depending on what you get, but if you do build a relationship with your local Walmart, which it can be 25 local Walmarts and you have the gusto to do so, you can mess around and find yourself with a lot of money, um, to do what God has called you to do. Um, yeah, ministry is very difficult without donations. Did you apply for your conference? Yes, I applied for my conference. I received two checks from Walmart. And literally all they did was said, yeah, and then they sent it the next week. Like, that's what happened. It was just very simple, very easy. All right. Thank you, Alyssa, for um, chiming in. Should there be a link here? I will click, put the link up, you guys. Churches are nonprofits but have to apply for pro Right. So, hey, Ray. So here what it's saying is, you don't have to be a 501c3 and be a church on this website. You would just have to apply manually if you do not have your 501c3, um, if you don't have your status, okay? Um, and, and once again, like if you have friends, you guys, who do have the status and may not know how to do this process, you may want to go in with them. Um, what, what we learn in nonprofit management or dealing with uh, monies, um, grant monies, um, is that collaboration can help you build a nation. Literally collaboration can help you change the game. So you want to try to connect with as many people as you can who may not even understand about this, right? Who may not, who may be like, okay, girl, yeah, right. I'm gonna have to write a letter. No, you don't have to write a letter. <laughs> That's the easiest process of grant writing that I've ever done. All you have to do is put your name of your program in the um in the dropbox you have to fill out four questions and it's not even long like literally your sentences can be four words the fact that they're just asking you what is your program name i'm telling you i literally just put my program name that's it and i was able to receive the money glory to god because i didn't even pray about it or anything i just did it i moved when the woman spoke to me and told me about it it's not like i was just over there speaking in tongues about getting this grant and it's not a whole lot of money this these two that they sent me but what i'm trying to say is there's some things that are just common sense you're just gonna apply and see what happens sometimes we just gotta say okay god i prayed about it but now 
it's time for the work. Because remember, you've been praying for years concerning what you're called to do. Sometimes we already prayed about it, but God's just waiting on us to have some action. So I want you guys to apply in your region um, today. I don't get anything for you applying, but hopefully it would be it would be great just to see you to be able to put on the event that you've been wanting to put on. And um, if you're a church or nonprofit, or if you're a school, maybe maybe your school um, or charter or you know at your kids' school has something, and you want to put something on there, and they'll let you head it up. A lot of times. Um, schools, organizations, et cetera, will let you do the work because they don't have enough hands to do it anyway. And if you can get your own funding to do it, that'd be awesome. So hopefully I'll be hearing back from some of you guys and you'll be telling me about testimonies about what God did with Walmart and um, or other organizations that you have applied to. Um, are there any more questions? Because thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you're welcome. You're welcome. That's awesome. Okay, are there any more questions, you guys? As much as I can help help you, I will. I am not by no means a guru. Um, I'm just a researcher. And um, the woman who, um, oh, also, I want to tell you guys about getting a nonprofit, okay? Um, if you do not have the money to pay a couple of thousand dollars to get someone to do your nonprofit, I want you to go to Fiverr, all right? I want you to go to Fiverr, F-I-V-V-E-R, and I want you to type in nonprofit, um, and you'll find that they can put your nonprofit together for you. You just pay the fees. Um, so it may range from $125 to $600, which is way cheaper than paying $1,000 or $1,500 for your um, nonprofit to get um, created. Now, mine was done within a day. Uh, Dr. Renee Charles did mine, but she does hers a different way and she is kind of expensive, um, but she takes care of you. If you want the full service, I would I would say get her. She'll get you in um, in, in a couple of days. But if you want um, just um, a service where you're kind of doing it yourself, but you have someone else doing the paperwork and the bylaws, et cetera, Go to Fiverr, F-I-V-V-E-R, and they can show you how to, they will do all your paperwork for you. You just pay the fees and you pay them to do the paperwork. Hey, Camille, God bless you. Hey, Tyeen. Hey, Shamika. So um, I love to find ways to get things done cheaper and quicker. All right. So I've had a nonprofit for almost two years now, and um just been a blessing to be able to get some money that I needed for things to get done. A lot of times we don't have the money. We're just doing things by faith. And um, I think that this is just an awesome opportunity. Once again, Fiverr. Fiverr is an app. Um, you can find it on your phone or you can find it on the website. And it's F-I-V-V-E-R. They do everything on there from editing to just anything. Anything that you need done, flyers. Go to Fiverr, you guys. Stop paying all this ridiculous money. Or if you don't have a resource to get a video done or something, go to Fiverr. Fiverr is really a plug. It'll help you get some things done because it's outsourcing the work that you need um, done. Um, okay. So grant writing classes. Um, I do have a, a girl who um, who can teach some of that. But once again... I want to tell you guys to go to Fiverr <laughs> because that is outsourcing things to people in other countries sometimes. And a lot of times or people who are just at home having time to do things for a hundred dollars. There's even one woman on Fiverr who will look up a whole bunch of um, grants for you for like $50. And that's somebody doing the research for you. And there's people who will write it for you for a couple of hundred dollars. No guarantee that you'll get it, but if you can, if you go there, I'm telling you, anything you think of that you need, they'll do. And um, I don't want you to be waiting on someone. The, the reason why I like Fiverr, let me just keep it 100 with you. I like Fiverr because you just press on there, like you, you tell them, okay, you want a, a um, project done, and they have 10 days to do it, or five days to do it, or two days, and there's a clock. And if they don't finish it, they get booted off the service. That's their money, right? So that means I don't have to worry about 
Ray Ray over here doing my flyer or something because he ain't going to finish it, you know, or finishing my work and they giving you excuses because you have to do it. So that's why I appreciate apps like Fiverr. They're my go-to. Now, when I'm doing things that are a little bit more mm, deep and I need a different type of designer who is a little bit more creative, I will go with some that I know. But most of the time, if I have something that's like pertinent to get done, I'm going to go to Fiverr. All right. Well, hey, Tiffany, if you could write, uh, watch the replay, it, I, um, I talked a lot about how you can get the, um, get the, um, get the grant. All right, you guys. Um, and hopefully I can answer some questions. If you have any more questions, let me know. And I love you guys. And I hope that you guys are able to get what God has for you. All right. Bye now.